like a motherfucker. Uh, you know, uh, uh, a lot of motherfuckers got the shit confused. You know, a lot of motherfuckers don't even know about the shit, my nigga, what happened. I mean, you know, our shit. We ain't gonna do this. We ain't gonna know. No, we ain't taking no for a motherfucking answer. Hold on, come on, roll them. We ain't taking no for a motherfucking answer. Man, we need something. Tell us something. Shit, shut us up. Y'all wanna hear it? You wanna hear something? Say it. We ain't taking no money. Let me get my son. Yeah, get his son. Get, get the bro. Hey, come fuck here. that. We ain't taking no for an answer today. Wanna hear what? What? The Biggie Smalls incident, nigga, with the real Massey, nigga. You heard he exclusive, nigga. Northern Cali going wild part two, bitch. All right, all right. I'll tell the story. All right. It was a little Bruce concert in Sacramento, right? And, um, you know, nigga, it was a high to my, my album. That was like shit, 94. And, um, the motherfucker was packed. So when the nigga said it was empty, I don't know what the fucking nigga was talking about. The shit was packed. See, it wasn't a Biggie Smalls concert, it was a Lil Bruce concert. So let's get that straight. So soon as, nigga, I rocked the motherfucker so long that these niggas had to pull the plug on me. Yeah! Get off stage, nigga. Biggie Smalls gotta get on stage. Who the fuck is that? We don't even know who the fuck this nigga is, really, at this point. This nigga fucking with Pac or whatever. I done heard this nigga name in the magazine or whatever. Talking about fuck Pac, fuck 40, and fuck Spice One. So, um, so we get off stage and whatnot. And when we get off stage, everybody basically leaves. This motherfucker clear out. Niggas is like, it's maybe like 30 niggas left in that motherfucker when this nigga Biggie get on stage. You know what I'm saying? So, um, he finished his show and we backstage at this point and this nigga finna get in the limo. And that's when I approached the nigga. I'm like, say nigga. Yeah, I say, say nigga, what's up with this shit nigga? You talking this shit in this magazine. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I really don't want to tell the story because the nigga already gone. Rest in peace of Biggie Smalls. But I'm, I'm going to tell the story, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, what's up with this shit you talking in this magazine? I had that 50 on me. That Desert Eagle. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you talking this shit about my people's nigga. This ain't for play out here, nigga. We for real out here, nigga. Gun you down in this motherfucking nigga. What's happening, nigga? And at the same time, I got two cables behind me. Right? My niggas, I nigga. I got niggas. These are my young niggas. My OG niggas ain't around. Nigga, I had like niggas chain like 20 niggas with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, so this shit, you know what I'm talking about? If we get down around this motherfucker, this killer Cali at this point, you know what I mean? Smacking this nigga ain't gonna do nothing but make me more famous. So, you know what I mean? He fucking with some goons at this point. 40 and them, 40 ain't here to save you, none of that shit. But see, what end up happening is, cousin Max Shine jump in the middle of the shit. Ah, hold on, nigga, hold on. I got 40 on the phone, man. 40 wanna talk to this nigga. Why, why, right? So out of respect for my older cousin, because at the time it was a real organization. So I'm like, alright, nigga, I back up off this shit. But at the same time, nigga, we finna get on you, nigga. If the word is go, nigga, we finna get on you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But the word wasn't go. The word it was like this. The nigga hand me the phone for a second. He like Lil Bruce. 40 tell me like this, cause 40 tell me like this. He like Lil Bruce. I be in New York. And I be by myself. <coughs> so if you smack that nigga, nigga, somebody gonna turn around and smack me. Basically. So I was like this. Alright, cuz I'ma give this nigga this pass. And I'ma let this nigga go. Fuck that. Based on the, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I'm in the middle of the interview. I'm gonna go after you, DB. I love you. I can't treat you like an alien right now. I can tell you to get the fuck away from here. But I'm in the middle of the interview, nigga. <laughs> Okay, cause we two talk wild. Story from the 90s. Fag it. So anyway, you know what I'm saying? See what I'm dealing with? I'm dealing with goons around this motherfucker, y'all you know what I mean? So at the same time, my nigga 40 like, all right, you be in New York, all right, I'm gonna let this nigga go. So I let the nigga go. I was the nigga that gave the nigga a pass. You know what I mean? Not to say that cousin 40 didn't get a nigga a pass. You know what I mean? Cause he came from the word, came from the top, and he was like, nigga, you gonna have to let that nigga rock. So you know what I'm saying? In a sense, he did get that nigga a pass because at the time, he was sick with the organization. You know what I'm saying? And I fell in line with the whole situation. And you know what I'm saying? Biggie Smalls rode away with his life. So it ain't even no, it ain't even no big story. You know, I don't even tell the story. I tell the story every now and then. 
in the hood when a nigga might pop a pill, smoke a little bit or something, you know, be on a drink or something. But you know, I ain't even brought this shit up in years, you know what I mean? But at the same time though, yeah, that's how this shit happened. And uh, I do miss the nigga, the nigga made great music, you know what I mean? You know, I was a little nigga at that point, I was like shit, what, like 19, 20 in my career? You know what I mean? Had that big thing on me, nigga, I was feeling like a star, and this nigga talking shit. So of course I ran up on that nigga. If you look at the video that the nigga showed, it say Method Man, like nigga, you gotta, can't worry about the niggas that's rapping, you can't worry about the niggas that's having it. You got to worry about these goons out here. You see what I'm saying? Show my goons, nigga, show my niggas. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta worry about these niggas out here. Cause these niggas don't give a fuck about what you want. You understand me? You run up on me, you run up on any of my niggas in here that's making this music representing this neighborhood, you gonna fuck around and get smacked. Period. Niggas ain't playing, man. It's all shit. And niggas who come from here rapping about this. So, you gotta look at niggas who's rapping like the representative of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, if a nigga start talking that shit about Lil Bruce, you gonna fuck around and get smacked. One of my niggas gonna run up on you and, aha! It's gonna be over. So at that point in the game, yeah, I was ready to smack me. But the call came from the top because he 40 like nigga, I be in New York. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, we let that shit go. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to Biggie Smalls and Tupac. Millerville, nigga, West Side for life, Central Valley. Baby Ben, this is my baby right here. This is Ben, this is the new generation right here. This is baby Bruce right here. You know what I mean? Big Bruce, little Bruce, this baby Bruce. So you niggas is gonna be in trouble when this nigga grow up. So don't worry about nothing, man. We got it all covered. Please believe it. Miller, Millerville for life. Millerville for life, Akadama family. You heard it first here, bitch. Know that Cali going well, part two, motherfucker. Understand that. Skrilla Scratch Debo in the building one time, bitch. Know about nigga. it, man. Know the Cali going know well, it, man. part two. International, uh, man. International, bitch. man. We got killers and hands out this man. motherfucker. We international. Understand that. Nigga, we ain't doing it out this motherfucker. We ain't done it. Oh, what? Shit. You wanna know why I ain't on sick with it? Go pick up the Truth mixtape. Download the Truth mixtape. Go pick up the Truth mixtape. That'll tell you all the motherfucking problems between me and Forty. Is that the one with the foot on it? I ain't gonna get into it right now. That's the one with the foot on it. Yeah, the album cover where the album cover with the motherfucking gold record up under the nigga foot. Go look at it on the wall in here. Show so the wall in there. The name of that uh, mixtape is the Truth. Nigga got anyone any questions about what's up with me and Forty? Nigga, listen to I got it in the computer at the house. A lot of niggas wanna know, my nigga. I got it fresh off the of press, nigga. I, mean, I got it fresh out of the studio. I didn't get it. I didn't buy it. I got it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? My, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin, that's my cousin. You know what I'm saying? I love him and everything. You know what I'm saying? But he made some uh, wrong moves in the game that left niggas, uh, you know, by the wayside. You know what I mean? And that's what we're dealing with right now. That's why I came home. Because I ain't finna leave my niggas. My niggas is rapping. These niggas is rapping. These niggas got a dream. These niggas want to go somewhere. So who the fuck am I to leave these niggas behind and then be somewhere shining? So anyway, you know what I'm saying? Man. I ain't that kind of nigga. I'm right back here on Man. the block, nigga. I told you who house that is. Yeah, That's my little nigga R.D. did it house. Nigga, my nigga grew up in that house, nigga. That nigga living in right now. And all this shit, nigga, Lil Bruce, nigga. Straight up, nigga. I'ma do this shit. Hey, check this out. To my fans, I love y'all, but I'ma do this shit with or without y'all. You know what I'm saying? If y'all niggas wanna go fuck with this nigga one day, go fuck with him. You wanna fuck with that nigga the next day, go fuck with him. But Lil Bruce always gonna be right here for you. I'ma be right here for you when you get tired of that weak shit over there and then tired of that weak shit over here. I'ma be right here with this real shit. So holla at me. You know what it is. What y'all throwing up, Lil Bruce? What y'all throwing up now? That's Millerville. That's Millerville, Central Valley. And they were throwing up that O for the Akadama family. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of the family? Akadama family. Akadama. That means anything to obtain a dollar. Akadama. Got it. Northern Kelly gone wild, well, part two, nigga. We out here, B Town. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck those my nigga. Lil Bruce. You know what I'm talking about? Nigga, the family nigga, oh, and all the shit, nigga. Northern Kelly, part two, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, man. We out here with those, man. We finna go over here to the motherfucking um, Chris out right quick. Go holler at this nigga Doobie one time, man. We gonna wrap this up right here, man. We do it this second, man. We love our niggas one time, man. We about to shake this motherfucker. Arr. Boy.